what's up doll baddies so from this video the title the thumbnail you guys can see this is going to be another hair braiding foundation tutorial and this specifically one is going to be deep side parts for closure wig closure sewing um similar if you actually wanted a deep side part leave out just without the um hair being left out pretty similar but yeah let's just jump straight into this video um if you aren't subscribed to be a part of the doll baddie game make sure you subscribe so you can become a doll baddie and thumbs up this video so right now we're gonna go ahead and start with our anchor braids and if you haven't watched my other two foundation videos definitely watch those one for frontal one for middle part um closure and style me or whatever the case may be so for this one particularly, um, this is for the D side part. I do want to um, do more breakdown videos probably. At this point, it'll probably be like um, just with different lengths and textures so y'all can see how I do like what the difference is because the foundations I do is literally the same on uh, everybody. I don't change nothing up and the anchor braids are um, essential and then just braid up the rest but um yeah so for the anchor braids for this i'm going to add some braiding here because i kind of like um for the anchor braids to have braiding here especially um if you were to do a sewing so that the wefts is not tugging on the hairline area and as you can see i did leave the edges out you don't want to grasp them because we are here to you know grow hair we're growing hands we want to keep people edges secure the edges at all costs so you don't need to be grabbing them all that tension and grabbing people them edges that's gonna make a fallout that ain't cute we want our hair to be flourishing underneath all them wigs okay period so um as the ending is you're gonna see the hairs that our baby hairs that she have remaining now all you gotta do is gel them back stick them back in they out your way or do whatever you need to do so don't worry about that don't grab them so I'm going to, um, after y'all seen, because I'm kind of a little bit behind, I just created the deep side part where I wanted it to go, did um, my anchor braid, and now I'm about to go ahead and do the anchor braid in the back, and this is where either the wig is going to be sewed down to. If you have a closure wig, you're going to sew it down to these anchor braids if the client does want you to sew it down, or if you're doing a complete sewing, you'll definitely begin sewing your tracks on this bottom anchor braid. So y'all know foundation is key to any perfect flat install so i take it very very serious that the foundation it is it, you know foundation gotta be it point blank period so um just watch the video um catch the details i will be teaching y'all the um intertwine technique to have one in the braid of course one in the braid only as well as um watch when i'm what braids i'm braiding all the way down and what braids i kind of leave like hair um i don't braid all the way down shall i say so just keep that in mind and how i'm like intertwining or like you know a sectioning of the hair because i know sometimes people feel like how do i know if i'm how do i know like if my braids are not reaching or don't really know it really just takes practice practice of ironing and to see exactly like where you're gonna intertwine the braids out and where it's gonna reach at. So it's just gonna be practice, but as long as you get the fundamentals of it and you keep practicing these breakdowns, y'all gonna master them with no problem and y'all install house gonna be lit. So I'm gonna go ahead and hush and let y'all watch.
after I did the first two braids on the right side, my right, y'all left, well, our left, basically, because we're watching the videos on the left side. Now, I'm going to go ahead on the right side and begin um, doing my braids. So, when I did the middle part, I like to literally mock each and everything I'm doing. So, what I do on one side, I immediately go over to the other side. Or for the side part, you kind of can get away with it. If you do like two braids, then you go over to the other side. I wouldn't suggest doing the whole one side and then try to come out to the other side because depending on how you braid, you might literally curve the part because your tension, you might not even realize you're grabbing the hair, pulling it down, and it might mess up the side part. So don't do no more than two braids like I did and constantly like um move back and forth transition to both sides doing the braid so that it's even on both sides so yeah that's the tip i recommend that y'all see me doing don't do no more than two braids without going and doing the same thing to the other side So once you get midway to the head, you will eventually not be curving the braids like from the top and curving it down, do like a little swirl. The braids will begin to go in straight back. So as you can see, I'm just doing my cornrows going back and up. And I'm on, excuse me, the the second one going back. So you can see exactly where I stopped curving it. I did one, two, three, four, five, six braids on um the right side and then i did one two three four four braids or is it five braids i'm just trying to see i did i think yeah four braids curving until i started going straight back no five braids i'm not five braids five braids these the ones i just am um automatically just going straight back and as y'all can see i'm showing y'all how i'm intertwining the braid i literally braided like four four down and then i interlocked it just bring the hair up and then make sure you pulling it having tension not pulling it too much so that your hair in the back that you pulling up is not pulling and tugging and it makes it uncomfortable because when a person bat their head down you don't want it to be in pain you need to be mindful this is not supposed to be a painful foundations or braids period should not be painful if you have painful swelling redness you should be alarmed and at this point take out the damn hairstyle it ain't even worth it um depending or let the let your client not your client your stylist know like you know it hurt you going too tight okay like you definitely want to be neat but we all had our fair share of them them tight braids man headaches and all burning scalp adding water adding um oil adding a towel yeah them days was something serious So now I'm on my last braid. I'm going to intertwine on the left first. And then I'm going to braid two braids or maybe three going down. And then once I get it at an appropriate amount that the um, loop won't come out, I'm going to go ahead and go to the other side and pull that one up, intertwine that. And then we we'll go ahead and braid all the way down. And that's how we're going to have one end of braid. One in the braid. That's the goal. One in the braid. And now we're gonna go ahead and use our dual grow mega thick formula oil that you could get at your local hair store. I show y'all this in every braiding video and some, some of my installs. This is what I use. It really works. Eventually, they're gonna sponsor me. Well, I hope because the way I be vouching for this product is because it really works and I buy it every time and I haven't found nothing better. I really, really, really like this oil. So, this is my fave. I want to go ahead and moisturize the scalp with the oil 
this my favorite part is satisfying to me it be my client's favorite part because it just like be cold on the scalp and it just feels so good like oh my gosh i be feeling like oh i wash i was just my head this way what's going on like every time i do it because i just know like the sensation is it just me or what but y'all understand y'all know y'all be understanding me we be here y'all be here don't forget to do the back too the back part and then you want to go ahead and massage it everywhere make sure it's good a little bit on the edges too you don't want to overdo the edges depending on what hairstyle you want depending on what you're doing you we don't want the edges to be too early because we want to be able to style them you know but yeah go ahead and um massage the oil in the scalp and that basically sums up this video if y'all have any comments questions or concerns y'all already know the deal go ahead to put that down below like this video share this video watch the other breakdown foundation videos and i will check y'all out in the next one